Hi everyone, today in Legend of Slime I am going to give you some tips in the Frozen and Bluebird events and how you can reach the highest rank and stage possible without spending money. This event is really important because if you are successful in it you are going to receive a lot of rewards. So first, once the event starts and you jump in it you should as fast as possible reach your highest stage. That's because you accumulate more coins at higher stage and that way you are going to upgrade more of your stats. To claim more coins you can also log in into the game more frequently and always obtain the bonus coins from watching cuts. Also log in every day so you can receive your free daily branches and watch all ads needed for that. Now to the stats you should upgrade all stats evenly except for HP and HP recovery. They are not really helpful here because bosses usually one shot you once they get in melee range so upgrading them makes no difference to how long you can survive. You need to upgrade the HP stats only for the quests in the top right corner which should be your priority. The goal when you face a boss in this event is to have enough damage to beat him before he does his attack on you. Of course also upgrade your bird and use all of your branches to unlock more skills, relics and slimes. Now the most important thing in this event is actually which slimes you pick. If you have the right slimes you are for sure going to reach good rank in at least top 10. First, SS slimes are pretty much always better than S or A tier slimes, so you choose only them. But which SS slimes you should pick? The best slime in this game mode is Uga, so if you have it in your options, always choose it. This is a tier list of all slimes ranked from the best to worst. Keep in mind, this is only for this game mode and not for your main build. The next slimes on the list that you also need are Rudolf, Robin, Zomstein and Moon Rabbit. Next, if you don't have any of these slimes in your options, choose Hero or Miner. And if you are very unlucky and you don't have any of these, you can pick Robby, Bunny or Ignis. The next slimes are not really good for this event, but make sure you check this star list first before you choose your slime if you don't know which one to pick. The best thing you can do is to pick Uga as your first or second slime so you can reach level 100 on it faster where this slime is going to be the strongest but you need a lot of luck or a lot of rerolls to do that only if you have a lot of diamonds. If you don't have good slimes you are not going to get further into the event so you also need a little bit of luck. Next if you have some spare diamonds and feel like you are stuck and you can't progress more you can also buy some tree fruit or branches. Don't overspend diamonds and wait for the last days of the event to spend them only if you aim for certain rank or stage that you want to reach. Here I've bought only 2 or 3 times bonus 3 fruits and I reach rank 4 and I want to finish until the end of the event in top 3. But I played this event only for 3 days so I missed a lot of coins and daily branches so if I played the whole event I would have been easily in top 3 maybe even without spending any diamonds. In the next event like this I am going to play from the beginning and I will show you my progress. And one last important tip for this event, in every battle you are doing different damage to the boss which depends on your crits so if you can't beat a certain boss you should try at least 10 or more times to do it and maybe one of these tries is going to be successful. Also let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos about Legend of Slime. So guys these are my tips for you in Frozen and Bluebird event. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content.